right, here's a little addition to this video that I wanted to, uh, to point out. Um, we knew that our radius is point f or as is root 5. So clearly it's not the unit circle. But what if they said, okay, um, convert this to a unit circle kind of drawing here, okay? Well, what we need to do is make this equal 1 somehow. And how do we do that? Well, if we divide it by itself, it equals 1. And when our radius is 1, we're on our unit circle. But we can't just shrink one side of a triangle. We have to shrink, multiply, or shrink or expand the triangle by the same amount on all sides in order to keep the ratios the same. So uh, what I would do, what we would do, is divide all things by root five. Okay. So if this was on the unit circle, maybe it's asking to find point P or something like that. Okay. This uh, um, this here. Uh, I'm, going to call, I'm just going to label A, B, C so that I can show you. A, well, A is 1 divided by root 5. But we can't leave it like that. We have to say 1 root 5 over 5. I rationalize the denominator. So this is A, root 5 over 5. B would be, I'll tell you why it's important, because we're going to find P. Okay? B would be uh, 2 root 5, but we have to, just showing the long way here now. Okay. So that's 2 root 5 over 5, that's B. And then C, well, C is now is just 1, right? That's, that's what we wanted to show at this particular point. Uh, we're on a unit circle now, um, so that's 1. So we found out what A and B are. Why do we care? Well, in this particular example, I don't remember if I said it at the beginning, but we're going to look for point P on the unit circle given this ratio. Okay. So the last video was about not dealing with the unit circle, but now we're saying, on the unit circle, what is point P going to be if this is your cosine? Well, that was our cosine. We discovered what our ratios were, and then we converted this uh, uh, radius line to the value of 1. And in order to convert it, we had to shrink the whole triangle by five, uh, root 5 times. Here. And this is what our values are. So what does this mean? Well, the distance from here to here is root 5 over 5. So that means our x value is a plus is positive root five over five. Okay, so that means our p, our x value is p x y, right? Our p value is a positive root five over five, and our y value, where well, we're going downwards. Oh, what did I do? Oh, right, b was negative two root five. So again, I was speeding so fast I forgot to put the negative sign in there. That's where mistakes are made still there, so b is negative 2 root 5 over 5. The distance here is a negative 2 root 5 over 5, so that becomes our y value, because it's, we're measuring on the y-axis. Negative 2 root 5 over 5. So our coordinates for p on the unit circle are this. All because all we knew at the beginning was this was our cosine ratio. And we had uh, other points before. But with this cosine ratio on the unit circle, where the radius is 1, this is how we found our point P. All right. OK, send me, a, send me an email if, uh, if you want me to redo this one slower or faster, or you just want me to get on with the show.